In this lesson, I'll be providing an overview of all of the user research methods that I'll be sharing throughout the tutorial. This is a brief summary and overview to give you a flavor for what you'll be learning throughout the entire tutorial. I want to start with usability testing. And the reason I'm starting with this technique is because when I work with product teams and they ask me, how do they start gathering feedback from users? Usability testing is the technique I recommend they start with. The idea behind a usability test is that you put a member of your target audience, an end user, in front of your product and you see how they work. In the usability testing lesson, I'll talk about how you go about planning your study and how you create tasks for users to perform with your product. But really at its core, usability testing is you sitting down with a user in front of your product, asking them to perform a task and seeing whether they can accomplish it or not. That's usability testing in a nutshell. The goal of a usability test is to evaluate the product's design to see what's working and what's not with the product's UI. What I found is that with usability testing, people will start asking me, how do you get buy-in from stakeholders to conduct tests? I have to say usability testing is one of the most persuasive and effective techniques for getting stakeholders excited about making design improvements. The way you start getting buy-in for testing is to try one usability test and have your stakeholders observe. There's nothing more powerful than people seeing how users interact with the product. Just by having stakeholders attend one session, you'll really start seeing how persuasive this technique can be. I get a lot of questions about what the time and cost will be for usability testing, and my answer is typically, well, it depends. In the lesson on usability testing, I'll start discussing the different options you have for your tests, whether you want to do more rigorous testing or you might want to start using some quick and dirty techniques. In terms of running a usability study, it basically involves a few different stages that we'll walk through during that lesson. It starts out with test planning, where you'll write a test plan and you'll run a test planning meeting with your stakeholders to get a better understanding of what they want to learn. You start there. Then we find and recruit people who we want to test. We create tasks, things that we're going to ask the users to complete with the product. And then we moderate, we facilitate the test sessions. And finally, we wrap up by, after we've run all of our test sessions, we analyze the data and communicate the results. In the lesson on usability testing, I'll walk through all of these stages of the testing process, and I'll give you tips and techniques for running these studies. The goal is to have you come away where you can run and feel confident about running your own usability studies. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, please click on Learn More. Don't forget to subscribe to the O'Reilly Video Training YouTube channel for more tutorials, and be sure to like us on Facebook.